In this video, we're going to look at plotting quadratic graphs. A quadratic graph is in the format y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to zero. In other words, it's got an x squared term, and it may have an x term and a number. So here we've got a graph, y equals x squared. So to draw this graph, I'd recommend drawing an xy table, and here we've got the numbers minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And to get the y number, it's equal to the x number squared. So in other words, we're going to square all of these numbers. So 4 squared is equal to 16. 3 squared is equal to 9. 2 squared is equal to 4. 1 squared, 1 times 1 is 1. 0 squared, 0 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 squared, but minus 1 times minus 1. Well, negative times a negative is a positive. So minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. Minus 2 squared, so minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. Minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. And minus 4 times minus 4 is 16. So here we've got our coordinates. 4, 16. So 4, 16. Three nine, two four, one one. The origin zero zero, minus one one, minus two four, minus three nine, minus four sixteen. And it does go on, for instance, you could do 5, 25, and so on. Now, you're going to draw a nice parabola through these points, okay? So, parabola is a nice curve that goes like so, and it goes through all the points, okay? Uh, don't join them up, and don't uh, sort of curve, when it, or don't sort of uh, feather whenever you're doing it. So, do a nice one smooth curve through these points and up again. And with practice, this does get quite good. I'm not going to try and do it using this tablet. I'm going to just show you what it should look like should look something like this, okay? So a nice smooth parabola through those points and up again, okay? Okay, let's have a look at another, drawing another uh, quadratic. So this time we're going to draw x squared minus 2. So in other words, we're going to square the x number and take away 2. So 4 squared, well, 4 times 4 is 16. Take away 2 would be 14. Well, 3 squared, well, 3 times 3 is 9. Take away 2 is 7. 2 squared, take away 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, take away 2 is 2. 1 squared, 1 times 1 is 1, take away 2 is minus 1. 0 squared, 0 times 0 is 0, take away 2 is minus 2. Minus 1 squared, well, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, take away 2 is minus 1. Minus 2 squared, well, minus 2 times minus 2 is 4, take away 2 is 2. Minus 3 squared, minus 3 times minus 3 is 9, take away 2 is 7. Minus 4 squared, minus 4 times minus 4 is 16, take away 2 is 14. And again, you plot these coordinates, 4, 14. Three, seven. Two, two. 1 minus 1. 0, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, 2, minus 3, 7, and minus 4, 14. You notice this is symmetrical. Um, all parabolas will have a line of symmetry. Okay, so uh, then you just draw your smooth curve through this point, and it'll look something like this. So there you go. Okay, now we're going to draw the, uh, the parabola, or the quadratic, we're going to draw the quadratic, x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now this time we're going to have to do some work on it because it's a bit more complicated than the previous ones. Okay, so let's start off with 4. So we're going to do 4 squared plus 2 times 4 minus 1. So we replace the x with the 4. So 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 times 4 is equal to 8 minus 1. And then 16 plus 8 is 24. Take away 1 is 23. So this point here will be 23. Then we're going to now do 3. So we'll do that. So 3 squared plus 2 times 3 minus 1. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 6 minus 1. 9 plus 6 is 15, take away 1 would be equal to 14. 
So this point would be 14. Let's do 2. So we're going to do 2 squared plus 2 times 2, take away 1. So 2 squared plus 2 times 2, take away 1. So that's 4 plus 4 minus 1. That's going to be equal to 7. Now we're going to do 1. So 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 1. 1 times 1 is 1, plus 2 times 1 is 2, take away 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, take away 1 is equal to 2. So that's equal to 2. This time 0. 0 squared plus 2 times 0, take away 1. 0 times 0 is 0, plus 2 times 0 is also 0, minus 1. That's going to be equal to minus 1. Okay, now you need to be careful with the negative. So minus 1, so we're going to do, I'm going to put brackets in here, minus 1 squared plus 2 times minus 1, take away 1. Well, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, plus, and 2 times minus 1 is equal to minus 2, and notice I'm putting that in brackets, minus 1. 1 plus minus 2, so remember here you get two signs directly beside each other, because they're different, they're going to become a subtract, so you get 1 take away 2, minus 1. 1 take away 2 is minus 1, take away another 1 would be minus 2. Okay, let's do now minus 2. So you're going to have minus 2 squared plus 2 times minus 2, take away 1. So minus 2 squared, well, minus 2 times minus 2 is equal to 4, plus 2 times minus 2 is equal to minus 4, minus 1. 4 plus minus 4, well that's 2 times directly beside each other, that become a minus. So 4 minus 4 is equal to 0, minus 1 is equal to minus 1. Notice here the pattern starts to repeat itself. If you do the same for minus 3, you will get that it's equal to 2. And if you do the same for minus 4, you're going to get that it's equal to 7. So here we've got our table, okay? And our table has the numbers 14, 7 in there, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 2, and 7. So let's plot these coordinates. Okay, so whenever you plot these coordinates, 4 across 23 up, 3 across 14 up, 2 across 7 up, 1 across 2 up, 0 across 1 down, 1 across, or 1 to the left, 2 down, uh, 2 to the left, 1 down, 3 to the left, 2 up, and 4 to cross 7 up, you're going to get a graph that looks like this. Okay, and you notice it's typical parabola shape and it goes through all those points. And finally, Let's draw the graph y equals minus x squared. Now to do this one, you're going to do the x number squared, and then you're going to make it a negative. So in other words, you're going to do 4 squared is 16, but it's minus 16. Okay, so what you want to say is doing the x squared, and then put a minus sign in front of it. So you're going to do, uh, whenever it's equal to 4, you're going to do minus 4 squared. 4 squared is 16, so you get minus 16. Okay, uh, 3 squared is 9, but it's going to be minus 9. 2 squared is 4, but it's going to be minus 4. Minus 1, 0. Minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, but then you have to make it a negative, so minus 1, minus 4, minus 9, and minus 16. Notice this time, whenever you plot those coordinates, what you find is that it has this N-shaped problem. It looks something like this. So whenever you plot a quadratic, and the number in front of the x is, or x squared is negative, you get an n shape. And whenever it's positive, you get a u shape. So in other words, at this point, if a is positive, you get a u shape. So if it's an x squared, 2x squared, you get this u shaped graph. If it's in minus sign, you get an, an n shaped parabola.